We welcome the children today for a children's message. So gather around the computers or the phones because this message is just for you. We are going to talk about happiness and joy today. Now, on the outside, happiness and joy look a lot the same, don't they? But they're a lot different. You know, happiness might happen when you get to play with your friends, or when you get a new toy, or when you go on vacation with your moms and your dads, or maybe you get an A-plus on your spelling test. All of those things would make you feel happy, right? But joy is something much deeper. I want to read to you a scripture that talks about joy. And you see if you can tell where this scripture says joy comes from. It says, God will show me the path that leads to life. God's presence fills me with joy and brings me pleasure forever. God's presence is what fills us with joy. God's presence and the knowledge that God is always with us, there to help us and to love us, to guide us and lead us. God has this wonderful salvation plan for us that means our lives go on forever with Him. And that is so exciting. That brings us a deep sense of joy. And just knowing that God can forgive us for everything that we do wrong, that we are washed clean and we have a second chance, all of those things bring us joy. And that joy is something that's very deep in your heart. It's something that can't be taken away from you. Even when bad things happen around you, you still have that joy deep inside you because you know the presence of God in your lives. Now, I have a little experiment that is going to help you understand more about this. Um, this fire is going to represent the troubles in our lives. The things, the bad things, or the sad things that happen. That's just part of our human condition, so those things do happen. Now, when you're happy and those bad things come along, let's see what happens. That happiness didn't last very long, did it? No, that's because happiness can disappear when the things in our life are not going well. Now, let's see ha what happens when we have the joy of the Lord in our lives. Let's relight our candle here. There, those are the troubles, the bad things, the sad things that can happen. And, wow. The joy stays, doesn't it? The joy cannot be taken away. The joy cannot be, be destroyed because you know God's presence in your life. You know, let's just have a prayer and thank God for that. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence in our lives. Help us always to be aware of that presence and the joy that that presence brings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today.